Okay, so we've got our four and a half volt LED lighting kit from Hank's Craft. Uh, the purpose of the kit is to give you some different parts and pieces so you have stuff on premise to experiment with, get ideas from, uh, make prototypes, and use as reference points uh, when talking to your Hank's Craft sales rep about what samples you might need for a display. Okay, so now we've got everything out kind of ready to go here. Uh, we'll start plugging some of this stuff in. Um, some of what we sent are control circuits. And these will have male and female connectors on them. The connectors are labeled, so you'll know where to plug in LEDs versus uh, battery clip to power it. And then you'll also be able to identify the motion sensor, which would activate whatever type of lighting we connect. Um, so just to give you a quick example of how this works, we'll take the battery clip, plug that female connector into the male connector, which will only fit one way, so you don't have to worry about breaking it. And then go into one of the LED options that we've got in here. Uh, this is a ribbon LED strip. And the label says 60 lights per meter blue, 4.5 volt. So we match it up with the mating connector and the motion sensor will activate it. Uh, the timing that we use is a stock timing, 10 seconds on with a 10 second delay. That means after this shuts off, you'll have a 10 second period where it cannot be activated again. Uh, to give you some different options, we've got a strip of blue, green, red, and white. And again, these are great to use as references. Uh, if you know you need certain lengths, you can call us and let us know which color and what material you would need. Uh, and there's two of these in the kit. Uh, we've got another one that's a motion sensor and one that has two connectors for LEDs. Um, some of the different types of light we've got in here are one watt LEDs. We call them high power LEDs. We've got a couple white ones, a uh, red, a blue, and a green. And we'll go ahead and plug one of these in. So we'll take that motion activated circuit plug the battery clip in and then with the one that's labeled LED we'll plug in the LED and then that's going to be pretty bright in the camera I think but you can kind of see we've got that lighting up there and these LEDs all have labels on them so that you can identify them if you find one that you like that will work well for the display you can read what the label says and let us know what you use um, some of the other types of four and a half volt lighting we've got in here are what we call RGB LEDs. And again, you can't hook it up wrong. There's only one way the connector will fit. This one has a motion sensor also. And the lights will cycle through different colors. And then we've also got some different types of LED strings. Uh, these would typically be used for a flat header card where you would punch holes in a graphic and then insert the lights in from behind to create a flashing light effect from when viewing from the front side. So we'll go ahead and plug one of these in. And you can kind of see how they're lighting up. This is just a random flashing pattern. Patterns like this are used a lot in holiday displays, window signage. Um, it's just kind of a sparkling Christmas light looking effect. And then we've got another type of string in here. And these will only have one connector on them. We'll plug into the battery clip. And this is what we call a cascade pattern. So you can kind of see how the lights are cascading, almost like the icicle lights that you would hang over your garage. Um, it just gives kind of a neat sequencing effect. It's an example of a custom, custom pattern that can be programmed. Disconnect that. Um, with any of the options that we looked at, they all have this same male two-pin connector. If you want to plug any of these in, as opposed to using the battery clip, we do have little jumper cords. One end has a female connector and the other one has a barrel, barrel plug on it. So we can plug that in. 
you can use one of these wall adapters. Plug that in, then, and then plug that into any wall, wall outlet, and then it will function the same as the battery clip. So there's a lot of wires here, a lot of connectors. Um, you do not need to worry about plugging anything wrong. Again, they will only fit in the correct fashion. Um, everything that we do uh, LED-wise is all customizable. Wire lengths, color of light, length of LED strips, flashing pattern, um, they can all be altered. Uh, this kit is really meant to just give you a reference point and some parts and pieces to work with.